Hello, I'm Jeff Renner. My connection with Paths to Understanding began back in roughly 2016. Now, I had just retired from my work at King Television, and I was talking to a friend, and he said, you know, Jeff, I was talking to a mutual friend of ours, Father Bill Tracy, and he tells me you're going to come to work for him. Now, that was news for me. Now, I knew Father Tracy very well. As leader of a faith group, we'd held numerous retreats at what was called Camp Brotherhood and come to greatly respect his work in bringing together people of vastly different backgrounds, Palestinians and Israelis, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, to see not only the worth of their own faith tradition, but also to see the worth of others, that there was a wisdom there that they could benefit from, that they were no longer others, but they were becoming friends. And there are numerous stories of this. So when I did go to work for Father Tracy, first as a member of the board, one of the first things we did was put together a documentary video to give people a better sense in these polarized times that there is a different way to view and to relate to other people. Here's a quick example. We had a number of events here, but probably the most special one was the um, dedication when we had preteens from Israel and Palestine here. I'd been with them and watched, uh, congratulated the parents who flew them over here this far, plus organizations that have to sponsor. But um, uh, it was wonderful to hear them talk to each other. A governor from Afghanistan came here with a delegation. And he had a similar experience of seeing a great spirit of unity among people of different races and religions. So he's getting the bus right here to leave. He got off the bus and put his arms around me and said, you and I, are all going to be friends. So I figure if you get a Muslim governor's arms around a Catholic priest, there's hope for the world. <laughs> the other charge I was given was to recreate a program called Challenge that Father Tracy had been a panelist on in the 1960s and early 70s, together with Rabbi Raphael Levine, uh, Temple to Hirsch Sinai, and a progression of other faith leaders as well. The concept was to give the audience a chance not only to see people of very different backgrounds and faiths of their own as humans, as sharing the same problems, but also as we discussed current events of contemporary problems, that there were bits of wisdom that others had to offer them as well that maybe they hadn't considered. So we have recreated that program. We are now finishing our second season of filming, of taping episodes, and I'd like you to see an example of what we're doing with that right now. Why is half of humanity trying to live on $5 a day? Why are there 700 million people trying to live on $2 a day mm -hmm. when we've got such a huge amount of wealth and such a big gap between rich and poor? And for me, with my gig in public television as a travel teacher, I love to take areas that are really important, that smart, curious people would be really steep on the learning curve, mm -hmm. and then take them there through travel. It's a beautiful teaching opportunity. Um, this last summer, I had the opportunity to go to Eastern Europe and spend some time in Prague and Budapest. Um, and so spending time in the, um, the traditional Jewish spaces there, mm -hmm. seeing some of the Holocaust memorials, um, really was brought at home for me in, in more of a personal way um, than I've felt, I think, thus far in my life. So Challenge 2.0 is just an example of the many programs that Past Understanding is creating and performing and providing to our overall community in Washington State. If you would like to be a part of this, if you believe that we cannot be fully human unless we enable others to become fully human and respect them for that, then I think you belong with us. We'd like to have you join us because it gives you an opportunity not merely to follow the arc of history and social trends, but to bend it and to bend it in a positive way. Come join us.